YouTube, uh, this is Vargas, and I am back again with the last of the pickups that I got through uh, Movie Freak Bazaar. So, uh, let's get started. So I don't ramble, 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 ramble. Picked up uh, National Lampoon's Animal House. Uh, I've been trying to get this particular cover uh, with the artwork. I have one of the anniversary releases, but I wanted this one with the original like uh, poster artwork. And this is the first DVD release of Animal House. Uh, so much so that it's in full screen with no special features. So, you know, this is one of the bare bones early releases of Animal House. It's it's a good movie. It's, um, if you get offended, you know, with uh, modern sensibilities, it's, yeah, it's kind of a rough watch. <laughs> But uh, it, it, at the time, it was a, a super funny comedy. Uh, it, it still is, if you can get past the stuff. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a funny movie. I, I watch it a lot. And uh, this one, uh, another one that I need to get, Revenge of the Nerds. So it's funny. It's this college humor movies that uh, surprisingly Monsters University tried to copy. So there you go. Someone was a fan. But yeah, got the uh, the original DVD release of Animal House. Uh, finally got a copy of uh, National Lampoon's European Vacation, the sequel to National Lampoon's Vacation. Um, I have the National Lampoon's Vacation in the snapper case with the really epic artwork. And uh, I know there's uh, a, a version of that for European Vacation that I haven't come across. But I didn't have uh, European Vacation. My favorite ones are the first one and Christmas Vacation. European Vacation is kind of so-so. And uh, now I would need uh, Vegas Vacation. But I'll get to that. Picked up this. The two-disc extended edition of Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus Best of Both Worlds Concert. It's Miley, It's Hannah Montana. Oh, it's Miley Cyrus. Hannah Montana. Miley Cyrus. And this, if, if I remember correctly... Uh, this was a concert promoting Hannah Montana, but also at the time where Miley Cyrus kind of wanted to make her own career. So they, they had Hannah Montana singing, but then Miley Cyrus would come and sing her own songs as Miley Cyrus. So it, it was kind of pushing her career as Miley Cyrus. So I'm guessing maybe this was at the tail end of Hannah Montana and she wanted to spread out. But I kind of like the, the 3D effect. And it has uh, two discs. Uh, one is the 2D release, and the other one's the 3D release. And if I'll show you here, it comes with the Hannah Montana 3D glasses. And it's that uh, blue and red 3D. So that's that's going to be fun to watch. After a while, the eyes are going to be like, ah. <laughs> and then you take off the glasses, and, and it's really bad. <laughs> but uh, it's cool that it has the glasses. Picked up this one, which I thought I didn't have, but this is Vengeance, a love story starring Nicolas Cage. Uh, I was 100% sure I was missing this one, but um, after getting it, I was updating my uh, uh, spreadsheet where I keep an inventory of my movies, and I have it already, so I was like, dope. So maybe I'll, I'll pass it along to someone, but it's, it's a really good movie. Anything with Nicolas Cage, I pick up. Picked up the widescreen edition of Luck Lucky Number Eleven. Um, I have this in full screen, and as I've mentioned before, I'm trying to upgrade the full screens to widescreens. The reason why is because when I started collecting DVDs, I had one of those tube TVs, and uh, the full screens looked better in those TVs. I didn't mind the the black bars; I, I had no problem with that. But um, like the DVD says, it, it has been formatted to fit your TV, so it. It, it did look good. Um, but now that everything's widescreen, flat screens, and what have you, uh, popping a, a full screen uh, kind of like makes it look like, like that. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of... I mean, there are options that you can zoom it, but once you make the zoom view uh, or the full screen view, depending on your TV, it, it, it really kills the image quality. So I have to get a lot of these movies that I own full screen into widescreen, and Lucky Number Eleven was one of those. Uh, finally, came across a copy of Biodome. Uh, it's not a movie that I liked. I saw it, and I was like, it, "It's it's it's okay." Uh, and Sino Man, however, uh, that one I've been trying to get a copy for a while, and I finally got a copy. That one I liked because of Brendan Fraser. 
Uh, Biodome, I, I was never a, a, a big, super huge fan. I know a lot of people that love this movie. I, I thought it was okay. Uh, but much like Freddy Got Fingered, I was like, ah, eh. But this one, uh, un unlike Freddy Got Fingered, I never saw a copy of Bio Biodome anywhere. So uh, he had a copy, and I was like, well, I, I didn't love the movie, but I got Freddy Got Fingered. I might as well get Biodome and give them a second watch. Maybe I'll end up liking them more. I'll definitely end up liking Biodome a lot more than Freddy Got Fingered. I'll tell you what. Picked up Electra, the director's cut. Um, this is the uh, spinoff to the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie. And uh, the theatrical release, which I have, a lot of people don't like it. I don't hate it. It's not the best movie I've ever seen. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen. Um, Jennifer Garner, I thought, was an interesting Electra choice. I would have gone with someone else. But she was popular at the time uh, because of Alias. So I get why they casted her. And she wasn't bad. She wasn't a... She wasn't my choice for Electra, but she wasn't bad in the role. And uh, this is a director's cut of uh, Electra, so uh, we'll see if this one is better. But again, I didn't hate the original. Another one for my never-ending Disney collection. Um, legit surprise, I didn't own this already. The Incredible Journey. It's about these three pets that get lost in the wilderness, and they have to survive and get back home. Uh... I love this movie as a kid. Uh, again, I, I don't know why it took me so long to get it. Because um, I always... I, I think I always mix it up with Milo and Otis, which is about a dog and a cat that also get lost. Uh, and also, I never came across a copy of it. Uh, but I finally got a copy of The Incredible Journey, so super happy about that. Now I need to get the sequel, uh, The Incredible Journey 2. Picked up Speed Racer, the original anime, Volume 3. I think I have Volume 1 of Speed Racer. Not sure if I had vo if I have Volume 2. I think I do. But uh, I needed Volume 3. This came with a way better slipcover that looks like the wheel. Uh, unfortunately, without the slipcover, the effect is kind of kind of weird. But uh, I like Speed Racer. Um, the movie is visually stunning, but... I, I guess it's a faithful adaptation to this, uh, but I don't know. It's something about the Speed Racer movie it hurts my eyes. <laughs> uh, picked up this one. I, I've been wanting this one, and this is a different cover from the one I usually see. But I picked up Casper and Wendy. Uh, this is if I I I, I want to say this is the third Casper movie because uh, there was a sequel to Casper, which is really good. You should definitely watch that one, called A Spirited Beginning. I think that's the sequel, which is a prequel. And uh, this one is a, I don't know if it's a sidequel or a sequel, uh, but it, it stars uh, Casper and Wendy, with Hilary Dove playing Wendy. So I, maybe her first role, I'm not sure. Someone please correct me on that. But uh, yeah, uh, I saw this one and I, I wanted to pick it up. Picked up Trolls Holiday. Uh, my kid, uh, the the oldest kid, uh, saw this when she was little, and she would uh, repeat this a lot on Netflix. It, it was on Netflix, and she would watch it uh, and watch it and watch it. Not as much as Moana. My kid loves Moana. She that's one of the movies that she saw like uh, a trillion jillion times. Uh, almost knew that mem that movie by heart. Uh, and this one is one of the second ones. She, she, she would rewatch this a lot, and um, I never came across the DVD, so uh, I was like, I'm going to buy it. Uh, I think it's still on Netflix. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but uh, I like owning physical media, so I was like, I'm going to buy it physically because uh, of, of how many times I watched it with my daughter, so picked up that one, and picked up the sequel to Trolls, Trolls World Tour, which uh, in the trailer, it really looks like they were ripping off uh, Marvel's Infinity War because there's this character that has to get the, the the magical strings to make a guitar and you know control the world <laughs> uh, and they introduce these different versions of the trolls so uh, I, I thought it was good I still like the first one a lot better but uh, I thought this one was okay visually it, it's still a very pretty world that they've made so uh, so yeah pick that one up and the last one I picked up is this two-pack of Scooby-Doo uh, Zombie Island. It's uh, Scooby-Doo Zombie Island, the first one, and Scooby-Doo Return to Zombie Island, 
which if I'm not mis misremembering, uh, Elvira appears in Return to Zombie Island. She gives the tickets away so that the guys can go back to the island. Uh, the first Zombie Island is an amazing movie. I really, really like it. Um, and this is actually one that I needed to rebuy because the copy that I have is kind of scratched and it skips. On the Blu-ray player, it plays fine. On my DVD, it, it always skips, so I needed a better copy, and this is brand new. And Return to Zombie Island, I also like, but it's weird that they don't remember they went to Zombie Island. Uh, so, I don't know. <laughs> but I definitely like uh, Zombie Island the best. But uh, I, I want to return to Zombie Island, because if I remember correctly, Elvira's in that, so anything with Elvira, I'll, I'll pick up. So, yeah. And that was the uh, last DVD update for stuff that I got through Movie Freak Bazaar. Um, like always, I like to recommend the standout of the collection. And uh, I'm going to go with uh, Scooby-Doo, Zombie Island, and Return to Zombie Island. If you can get this set, that would be better because you get the two, the two movies um, in one go. Uh, then I'm going to recommend Incredible Journey. This is a really good movie, which again, I can't... I can't explain why it took me so long to finally get it, but I finally got it. And I am going to recommend... Where's that movie? Oh, no, I'm going to recommend those two. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. The next batch of videos you'll probably see will be when I go to uh, meet up with Power Movies again. And we'll start the cycle again. So, stay tuned for that. Unless I go with Movie Free Bazaar and I'm able to get that uh, package that's been misplaced then you'll see that. But um, thanks so much for watching. If you would be so kind, please like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If, again, you like what you see. Um, stay safe because it's really cold here where I am. At, where I am. It's been raining nonstop for the last three days, and it, now it's gotten really cold. So, yeah, stay safe, uh, stay warm, and I'll see you in the next video.